beauty junkie welcome to my channel today we are getting into the French skincare brand typology this brand really focuses on natural ingredients using as the least amount of ingredients in a product as possible they like to simplify their ingredient list some of their products are 10 ingredients or less um, so that's kind of their focus. They also are very into sustainability with their packaging. They have some reusable makeup wipes. So that kind of vibe with this brand. It's not super popular in the U.S. I really haven't seen it that much. And I think it's because I'm not sure that it's distributed anywhere over here in any stores. I haven't really seen it in any online retailers over here. So I ordered directly from Typology. I picked up some skincare and complexion products. They have two makeup products, a tinted serum and a tinted concealer. So I picked up the lightest shade in both of those. I picked up an eye serum, a facial body bar cleanser, and I got some reusable makeup wipes. And then I got a couple of freebies with my order. So we'll get into all the details um, I'm going to be doing a demonstration of some of these skincare and makeup products, and I'll get into my final thoughts. So let's get into it. So Typology, I was really most curious about after watching a YouTuber, Khaki Reviews. She's really into natural makeup. She, in general, I think reviews really natural brands, however you want to call that. Um, that's not really my focus. I just buy things I want to buy, and then I review them. But um, I can appreciate going in that direction. So she raved about the tinted serum. So I really wanted to try it because tinted serum sounds so appealing. So I, I want to find a really good one. And so I picked that one up. She didn't really talk about anything else. She mentioned the concealer is new. So I thought, well, I might as well pick that up if I'm going to get the serum. So let's get into skincare first. I picked up the caffeine and niacinamide eye serum, and I'm sorry if you can't really see that there. Anyways, this is 5% caffeine, 5% niacinamide. It is 15 milliliters, so a very small bottle. It is glass, has a little eyedropper. This is targeting dark circles and puffy eyes. Made in France, of course, and what I like about this one, it's not oily at all. It is like a super watery, thin serum. Like it literally feels like a little bit thick of water, and you just tap it underneath your eyes. It's just super easy, and I feel like I notice a difference right away. I've already put some on today, but I just wanted to show you like how lovely it is. I think it's one of their best sellers. They do have offerings in mostly in skincare and from each like skincare category they have several options and you can actually diagnose your skin by answering a quiz to figure out like what you need in your routine. I did that and I didn't quite agree with their diagnosis and maybe I didn't quite answer it right. So I just kind of picked things that I thought would I would like or is not I don't really have a whole lot of in my routine and mostly I was here for the complexion stuff to be honest but you know this this brand the vibe the the font of this brand is really reminds me of like the ordinary or the inky list but this is very like a apothecary with the like brown bottles and kind of like a military very simple font I will say this is not like inexpensive like those brands. This is definitely more on the medium price point. Not exactly high or luxury price point, but you'll notice that some of these products are on the higher, are a little bit pricey for what they are. So like this, there's not a lot of ingredients in here, but this eye serum is $16. I'm not sure. I think if, if we were to sell this, if like those two brands I just mentioned, mentioned were, were to sell this, I think it would probably be like $5 less if I had to guess. Um, but this formulation is really nice. It is a glass bottle. We're like on the higher end of the spectrum in terms of like simplistic 
affordable skin. Um, so I just wanted to mention the price and you know you should evaluate what you need in your routine you know look at reviews think about like what your priorities are if you're into a very natural minimal skincare routine with, and you agree with the company's ethos then this might be the rep for you. Okay so let's get into the facial bar. This, this is the purifying cleanser with nettle so you can use this on your face or body. This is after being in my shower after a week but it didn't start out much bigger than this and I was kind of disappointed because this is 1470 so like $15 for this and I don't think the ingredients or the performance really justify a $15 cleanser especially when we're not getting a lot like unfortunately like yes like this much this much product if it 100 grams of product if it were in a bottle or rake regular packaging. It probably would have made more sense to cost $15, maybe, if it had more exciting ingredients. But the fact that a bar always, for me, doesn't last as long as like a liquid product, because it's sitting in the shower, it's getting hit with water, and it just dissolves. And of course, you can try to prevent that, but I just feel like you waste a lot of product with these. And the, the way that you're supposed to use this is to get wet hands, rub, foam, and then put it on your skin. You don't put it directly on your skin, which if I'm using a body bar in the shower on my body, I usually just do direct contact. So I think that's a strange direction. Um, I use this on my face. It felt pretty drying, um, even though it's a purifying soap. I felt like it stripped my skin quite a bit. My body it works well. I'm going to finish it of course. But what I don't like most about this and was is the fact that this smells like gum. It's like very spearmint minty. And it does have it in the ingredients. I just didn't really read them to be honest. I just said with nettle, which I've heard of is like a calming ingredient. <sighs> but um, on the very like obvious packaging and wording of this no mention of mint so I was very surprised that it had you know although a natural fragrance not something I want I don't like mint but also like I don't know if you're trying to be more of a clean brand why put that in there I don't know um, but you know that's just a personal preference I would rather they make it more obvious and tell people even if it's a natural fragrance right on the in big words like on the front with mint I would have appreciated that I think you're better off going and getting a nice handmade soap from a farmers market that you enjoy you like the scent and I wouldn't worry too much about I mean you can figure out what you like in a soap or not but I don't think there's anything special and that one to legitimize the price. Okay, so last skincare product. I actually got this for free with my order. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. This is the jojoba oil, 100%. It's organic, and there is 100 milliliters in here, 3.5 fluid ounces. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but I compared this to some other oils I have, and they're also 100 milliliters, so... It's right in the general size of an oil for the body. Um, you can, it says you can use this in your hair or face. I don't know why it doesn't mention the body, but that's probably where I would use this the most. I tried putting it in my hair, it was a little bit heavy, it didn't quite soak in as well. And I would say that while it's not like the thickest jojoba oil I've ever tried, it's not the thinnest, it's uh, definitely yellow. No fragrance, just pure jojoba oil. It feels good. I put it, you know, on my skin. It spreads fairly well. If it was thinner, it would spread a little bit better. But, you know, I think this is in general like a nice oil to have around. They do have other oil types, like 100% argan, argan oil. Um, but jojoba is a nice one. And yeah, not something I'm going to put on my face. I generally try to stay away from oils on my face. But I think it's nice to have around. You can mix it with your body lotion if you like. You can mix it in with your face moisturizer if you're into that. 
Um, just a good, like, mix-in product. And if you want, like, a nice sheen on your skin in the summer, but don't like the feeling of, an, of a lotion, this might be for you. It is plastic. You might think this looks like glass, but it's very lightweight. It's plastic. So I think that probably cut down on the cost. But I think if you order a certain amount, you get to choose, like, gifts, either one or two, depending on how much you spend. They didn't have a whole lot of options. All they had was the oil and the re reusable makeup removers. I already, I wanted to buy these anyway, so I got, I got, I bought one and I got one for free. But the oil is worth $15. So, you know, if you go to the drugstore, I think you can probably get oh, pure jojoba oil for less than this. But this one is organic. It just depends on your priorities and what kind of oil you like, where it comes from, packaging, things like that. All right, and then last skincare product is the wipes. So these are makeup removable pads. They come in this nice reusable cotton pouch. The pads, it comes with eight. So you get one for every day plus an extra one, and they're round. They're made of bamboo fiber, and you can hang them to dry with this little tag. These are really soft, very white, so you'll see every speck of everything that you take off. You can machine wash these. You can just throw them in the wash when you're done. Not, you know, throw out your cotton gauze or your cotton pads that you may use to remove your makeup. So this is to replace that. These are eight centimeters in diameter. You can put them against my face and see how big they are. I think if you are going to take off your whole face, you're probably going to want to use both sides or maybe one side for your eye makeup and lip makeup and one side for your complexion. It says to apply a cleansing oil or micellar water to the cotton pad and then cleanse your face. Um, so this isn't meant to remove your makeup with just water. It's not one of those. And it says after each use, you're going to rinse with lukewarm water to remove any residue. You can machine wash up to 48 degrees Celsius, then allow it to air dry. It says over time traces of makeup may persist. In that case, rub the pads with a stain removing soap for machine washing. So I'm gonna be, you know, trying these out. I actually, you know, as I said, two packs, so I have 16, I have a good amount. Uh, I have used them a couple times. I machine washed one that I just cleaned off my makeup brushes with, so it looked like this and it, you know, came out completely clean. I forgot to wash the one where I actually removed my makeup, so I don't know how well it cleans that. Um, but I did find that using like my Clinique makeup remover, eye makeup remover on this, it soaked up a lot of product, and I felt like that was kind of wasteful, so we'll see. Um, but these are perfect for like... If you are using your makeup brushes, maybe you need to change colors or you just want to clean your brushes in between washes, something like this is going to be really good to have nearby on your vanity next to your makeup brushes. Super, super useful. These are $17 for eight. So I got about $30 of product with the oil and these pads for free with my order. I think I spent like either 100 or $75 on these other products. So that was pretty nice. Not a lot of brands are giving away free stuff like that anymore, full-size products. All right, on to the most exciting part, the makeup. So these are the only makeup products from this brand. Um, and I think the serum has been very popular for them. It comes in a glass bottle. It's one ounce, 30 milliliters. Nice eyedropper applicator. And this is the fairest color, type 1, they call it. So the downside about their complexion stuff is there's six shades. Now with the tinted serum, if you buy one and you need another color you want to mix, you get the second one half off. And this full price is $35, which these days, that's about a mid-price foundation. It's not high-end. It's a little bit, I would say like $20, $25 foundation is more middle range. But it feels like like drugstore is often costing $10 to $15 for a foundation. So this is truly like mid-range to me. 
um, but you can definitely argue that. Um, it is one ounce, which is typical size for a foundation, so it's not like you're getting less or anything like that. Um, but, you know, this is a tinted serum, so it is light coverage. Um, you probably, you know, you can, of course, build any foundation. It doesn't always look great, but that is an option for this. And as I was saying, you can get, buy one, get the second one half off if you get a different shade. If you want to mix, that is how they're dealing with their lack of shades. Which, you know, I, I think that would be nice if more brands did that in the meantime, hopefully while they're building more shades and creating more shades. Um, but I noticed that the same deal doesn't go with the concealer, which has the same exact number of shades, only six. It looks like you just have to buy two and you don't get a discount. At least from what I could see, perhaps I'm wrong. So the Tinted Serum is a silicone-free, non-clogging tinted serum for light coverage and a natural no-makeup finish. It has vitamin C for radiance and squalene and aloe vera for deep, long-lasting hydration. It's 99% naturally derived formula. Just so you guys know, they indicate how naturally derived each product is in, on the website. So the directions on this one says, you remove the dropper from the vial, press the bulb to withdraw air, then dip into the vial, still squeezing the bulb to fully release it to fill up the serum. Fill it up with serum. Using a brush or fingers, apply three to four drops of tinted serum to the skin. Evenly cover the face and neck, starting from the center of your face, moving outwards to avoid any lines. Okay, so this is like a hybrid product. A lot of skincare ingredients, but also makeup, coverage. You can think of it mostly as skincare, but I probably will, would think of this more as makeup. But the fact that there is all these skincare ingredients... I think does affect how it applies and the wear. The tinted concealer is 15 milliliters, zero five ounces, so half the amount of product of the serum. Again, six shades. This is high coverage, natural finish. It says reduce dark circles and puffiness all at once, enrich with caffeine and niacinamide, corn flour hydrolate to reduce the appearance of dark circles and puffiness long term. It's also suitable for correcting imperfections. It's 97% naturally derived formula. So as you apply a few drops under the eyes to distribute product, either using your fingers or a brush to conceal imperfections, you're gonna to wanna to apply a drop of product to imperfections and tap with a fingertip or a brush to blend. Um, they do try to describe each shade, like who's it for or what's the undertone. As I said, like I don't think they offer that like, oh, if you are in between shades, you can get the second one half off. Didn't see that with this one. But this is $26 versus the $35. Um, I will say after trying both of these a couple of times, this is more pigmented obviously it's a concealer but I wouldn't say it's like high coverage or anything like that we're gonna get into the demonstration thanks for hanging in there pull my hair back so I got shade one I'm glad I did so I was considering oh maybe I should get shade one and two and mix them but I think I it looks a little bit dark in the container but it's actually not too bad so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. This is what the dropper's like. So it says you want to squeeze all the air out and then suck up the product. So that is shade one. It's, it says this is for cool undertones, but this runs a little bit more neutral slash beige yellow. So I'd say this is more of a neutral light shade. I think it fairly ma matches my skin fairly well and because it's light coverage, it's not as noticeable that it doesn't match. But there's that and the concealer, the most hydrating concealer that I own. I don't normally like go for hydrating. I feel like most concealers these days are have to be somewhat dry to really effectively be high coverage. It's like really thick though. This is one of the thickest concealers that I have now. Um, but when you put it on and blend it out, it doesn't look thick or 
doesn't like give real high coverage finish. Like doesn't give you a high coverage, but it looks like it does when you swatch it. But I will say like it's nice to have both because this is so light. You can go back over areas that you need a little bit more help with this. And it doesn't look silly because I know I like to use a light foundation, but my concealer is a lot thicker and higher coverage. Sometimes the balance between the concealer and foundation looks real funny because it doesn't match coverage. So I think these products are paired really well and made to go together, which is nice. But that is the two swatches. Um, I think the colors are pretty similar. I know they don't look exactly the same, but these are both shade one right there. I'm going to wipe this off the other side of this wipe. I think for me, I'll use this for brushes, but also for my eye makeup remover because that is where I use like cotton pads is for my eyes. And then otherwise I just wash my face. But there you go. So I'm not going to put on any primer. I have skincare and sunscreen on. They should be well absorbed by now. Um, so we're gonna, just going to try the tinted serum straight away. And we're going to try the dropper. That's one drop. I think it said three to four. I don't normally apply my makeup this way. That wasn't really a drop. I'd say it's a little bit hard to pick up the product with the dropper. There we go. So that's lovely. You can see how thin and runny it is and how yellow it is on my skin. But there we have it. I'm going to use my fingers. And it looks a little bit scary. This is definitely more than I applied when I've tried this before, but we're following directions. This feels really good, and I find that you it applies fairly well with the fingers. Is what I'm looking for in a carefree, easygoing, light coverage makeup product. I want to apply it with my fingers. And have it look good and blend out easily and just not have to worry about having tools nearby. Because sometimes I'm getting ready in a car and I just don't have time to bring all that stuff with me. But I will say, if you have a lot of blemishes, discoloration, you know, areas that you want a little bit more coverage, I think you may be disappointed by this. A little bit you just have to come in with the expectations so this is light coverage and it's gonna your skin's gonna shine through but I love how easy it is honestly like I always love tinted moisturizers but sometimes you know they're lotiony they can be sometimes thick and not as easy to blend out as you hope that they would be. I think it helps alleviate my redness. I think you can noticeably see that. The main thing I use makeup for is to cover redness and you know little blemishes here and there. The only thing is I have combo skin right so I tend to get oily here throughout the day. I've worn this and I didn't put any powder on even on top. And I was surprised at how good my skin looked at the end of the day. I thought I was going to look oily and gross, and I didn't. So I think the wear on this is pretty good as well. So let's get on to the concealer. This one is just a funny consistency, and the packaging for me is super messy because it keeps just coming out without me squeezing. So all the products coming down the lid and in here. I don't love that. I think they need to improve packaging. I don't know if it's because it's shipped by air, but <laughs> I actually got all of this stuff the same week I ordered it. It came from France. I think. I don't know. I got it fast. Maybe it didn't come from France, but I'm sure it got like flown by air and I'm having some issues with the product just popping up. Anyway, putting this 
dab on the back of my hand and you don't need a lot and I'm going to use my fingers to apply this but this is a very I don't want to say creamy because it's beyond creamy it's like very moistureful concealer like it's almost like lotion like because of how thick it is but I do think it's necessary for most of us to have a, a product like this in addition to the serum for like under our eyes at least or wherever we have blemishes because you need a little bit something extra in those areas so well most of us do so I'm just blending this out with my finger if you want to put things you know on the side of your nose you may want to use a damp sponge to blend them out or apply the product I will say the, the creamier the more hydrating the concealer sometimes like they just really settle into lines and you kind of have to pat them out that happens with a lot of concealers not just creamy ones I'm gonna put some down here and you have to remember like like this is not full coverage I think you guys can tell that but it matches the serum like the level of coverage is a little bit better than the serum and you can you know do layers and get more coverage but I wouldn't say I say it's like a medium coverage concealer versus the light coverage serum so it gives you a little bit more but it's not like one layer and you're done if you want more coverage like I'm good with this layer but I can see why people would want to put more on than this so even though it's thick and it just keeps coming out um, I think you'll be surprised that you might have to apply a little bit more than you think that you would need to is what I'm trying to say but the color for light I mean you can see the color it pretty much matches the, the serum color like it's not lighter like if you're looking for like a brightening color um, at least on my skin tone it's not exactly much different than the rest of my face if you want to like really ensure longevity with this one let's say you're very oily I probably wouldn't recommend a serum type of foundation. You might want something more on the drier side, more mattifying. But if you want to try this out and you are oily, I don't blame you. But you may want to just remove product. Remove excess product so when your oil do come through, there's less to mix in with the makeup. So just kind of tap out some excess product. Just kind of go over the areas and that's it those are the two complexion products I think they're fairly easy to work with if you have really problematic skin or you just have skin that's super dry this may not be good on its own like you may definitely need like a primer that's suited for you make sure you have lots of layers of hydration under here your skincare um, I don't know how it's gonna perform on dry or very oily or rosacea because I don't have that skin type but I can speak for me and I do have combo I'm in my 30s I do have some fine lines I did wear this on top of sunscreen it looks good I did have some issues at first with pilling because I didn't let my sunscreen dry before I put it on but so you just want to make sure you're careful about that but now I mean I have no pilling no issues coverage looks good you may think this has zero coverage but it has a little bit more than you think and it is buildable and I just love how easy it is to use you can apply everything with your fingers if you want and it still looks pretty decent so I love that all right guys that is it for the demo let me get into my final thoughts all right my final thoughts um, I kind of shared some of my thoughts as we went through each product anyway but I just want to give you an overall impression of typology and what I think is worth it and what is not I can't say that I've tried enough of their skincare to make a determination whether or not you know it's amazing or anything from really the three skincare products I have I like this the most the caffeine and niacinamide serum the texture is just amazing I of course haven't been using it long enough to give you like a full opinion but 
because this is a product where you can usually like see pretty good results right away because of the caffeine, I can feel, I do feel like a little stimulation when I put it on. It does feel like it helps with puffiness and fine lines and stuff like that. So I think this works pretty well. Is it on the pricey side? Yes. If you can find something else that works for cheaper, go for it. If this brand's ethos kind of appeals to you, then it might be something you want to add to your cart. The oil is not something I would buy. It's not like the most elegant texture. Oil is something that the more you spend, you usually get a nicer, more luxurious texture. Not that this is bad, but it's not something I would use like every day. But if you like oils, they do have a couple options that are organic. Bar, cleansing bar, facial thing, the purifying one. It's very minty. I do not recommend picking this up. I think it's way too expensive for how much you get. This is a very small bar. Usually, I mean, of course, from the drugstore, you're not getting them from France, but you usually get like twice the size. I don't know. It's it's a lot of money for what you get and it's very minty. The reusable pads I think I'm going to find useful one way or another. The problem for me is I don't have a washing machine in my apartment so I don't wash that often. But I think 16 pads should get me through a couple weeks which is going to be helpful. Um, the only thing for me I would prefer that they have like different sizes maybe a face size one a bigger square or circle that would be nice but otherwise I really like the nice zippered case this is gonna be useful for lots of makeup type products makeup brushes even the makeup stuff I would say the tinted serum edges out the concealer I think this works really well and just super easy to apply I don't know I wish this was like a little bit thinner just to make it like blend out a little bit faster and easier but I, I mean, it does have some hydration. I think they go well together. I, can, I don't have too many complaints about this. Um, but I will say both of them need to have more shades. I mean, both, all of their complexion stuff needs to ha have more shades. And this is new to them, so I'm surprised they didn't come out with more shades as a new product. Doesn't quite make sense to me. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's in the works. Maybe it's not. Maybe they don't plan on making more. Who knows? Also, like, I can't wait to see more makeup products from them. I think they should at least maybe a tinted lip balm or a lip balm or something for your lips at least. Um, they do have sunscreen. I could see a tinted sunscreen in the future if you people usually like that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I just want to see a little bit more makeup from them. I think that is a good avenue for them to go into, to be honest. Let me know your thoughts on this brand. Have you tried it? Have you heard of it? Are you guys curious? Please let me know. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.